over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is painful All is said and done created already so here on the index page we have created the id called team member see this is the id so this id i'm calling there to activate this plugin called all carousel over this image so that it will start sliding beautifully so i'm coming back to the main.js and here i am calling the id by mentioning the dollar sign and it will be having parenthesis inside this i'm calling the or you can say it double quote okay so team members is the id which i am calling right here and then i am linking the all carousel all carousel must be calling here then i am targeting everything friends at a time i want to slide two images beautifully so here i am putting items items and it will be having two so at a time two images will be sliding beautifully then i am mentioning here autoplay why why autoplay because it will be sliding automatically so we don't have to click all the time if you want to click then you will click if you want not then it will start sliding beautifully and automatically so i am putting here auto play will be true obviously it will be true and then i am putting a smart speed so it's up to you how much speed you want a speed a smart a speed like 700 and loop will be true loop will be true obviously here you can see I put it will be not here I'm just putting comma actually then loop will be true and here I'm putting autoplay hover pause why so whenever you will hover over the image then it will stop the sliding so here I'm putting autoplay hover pause and it will be having true true okay and now will be true so we'll get two 
buttons for the sliding so we'll be getting two buttons at the or for sliding so here i am putting true true and then the dots here i am putting dots for the slider like we'll get two buttons at the very down so i'm putting dots you can remove it as well it's up to you now i want to make the things responsive so here i'm using responsive property and it will be having colon obviously and then i'm putting some breakpoint right here I am putting black point from 0 to up. So here I am putting 0 colon and then it will be targeting the items. At a time one at the lowest position will be getting one item sliding. Means whenever you will get the small device opening your side then you will get one item sliding at a time. So here I am mentioning items 1 and then I am putting different property like different pixel value like 480 for the skin size. Okay. So here it will be something like this items 2. On this position, we'll get two items sliding beautifully. Okay, so items two. Here I'm adding comma because this is the different one. 480 items two. It's cool. Now I'm closing all the elements which I have opened. For closing, just add colon and here as well. If I show in the browser, then we'll get definitely. Yeah, friends, we did it. See here. We did it nicely and it's looking so cool, isn't it? But here we are getting no spacing in between the elements and it is looking something unprofessional, isn't it? And also we have to add some gapping in between the icons, okay? So we'll be doing it right now, but we have to arrange everything from very scratch. Friends, you can see we have the skills bar so this time i'm gonna working for the skill bar okay so let's do that i'm going to the index space and just finding the skill bar a skill bar is right here we have progress elements this is the id so this time i'm calling this id in the function just copying it and coming to the main.js and here i'm just coming the down coming to the down and then i'm doing the things next to you dollar sign and it will be function obviously function then I am targeting it here I am putting dollar sign then the double code and then the ID name called progress elements and it will be having the waypoint why waypoint because I have linked the waypoint plugin in the index page let me show you why I have used this waypoint because I have to make the animation happening at the time of a scroll bar not at the actual position okay so that's why i'm gonna using the waypoint to animate the things at a time of a scrolling here we have waypoint c so this time i'm calling this right there so waypoint i am mentioning right here waypoint and it will be containing the function as well function And also I'm calling the progress bar which is a class actually so again I'm putting double quote and then the class name called progress bar progress bar and then I'm putting each function value each function each function this time I'm animating it by press uh, by mentioning dollar sign this and then I'm animating it something like this animate here i am putting width and then i am calling the property for the javascript like dollar sign this it will be effective on the these elements and then i am putting some attribute by mentioning a double tr here we have a role as area value i have already created this role there let me show you here we have index space I am going at the way down to show you that we have role actually. You can see we have progress bar. Inside this we have area value now. And it is containing 95 value. Okay. So this time I am calling this area value there with a percentage. Okay. So let's do. Here we have put area value now. With plus and adding a percentage value. Then it will be containing some animation effects like 2000 millisecond. So it will be coming by as smooth sliding nicely isn't it and also i am destroying it by mentioning this
here I'm using offset and it will be containing the bottom in view bottom in view now let's take a look friends you can see we have created this beautiful slider and the skills bar now it is working really nice but we are not getting any spacing in between the images so don't worry i'll be fixing it right now and it is working really fine see here the indicators are also working as smooth see here and now we'll take a look is our skill bar working or not so just scrolling the page yep friends it is working really cool isn't it see here i'm going at the top and just refreshing it and letting you know wow friends we have created this beautiful section so friends till now you can see what we did we have created one to one and best to best design till now I hope you are enjoying. So friends, if you have any issue regarding this, then let me know. I'll be glad to help you. So stay tuned. See you in the next. Till then, keep practicing. Bye. Hi, welcome back. Friends, in the previous class, we have created this beautiful team section. Now, in this class, I'm gonna creating different section. Before creating that, we'll come to know that what we did till now. Friends, you can see we have created it beautifully. But here, we have made some mistakes. What is that? You can see in the slider area, we are getting the images, but we are not getting any spacing or gapping in between the slider images. And you can see it is working really fine, even the slider indicators working fine. Only the thing is, we are not getting any spacing or gapping in between the sliders images. So in this class, I'm gonna fixing these issues, okay? For that, we'll come to know that in which class all the slider images are available. After finding that, we'll go to the style.css and there we'll put some margin to that okay so why waiting let's get started i am coming back to the bracket here going to the index space there will come to know that which class is containing the images so you can see we have team member this is the main class which is containing the image actually see here so in this class first we'll fix this issue then we'll refer to the different section so what we'll do to this class will put some margin to this class so why waiting let's come back to the style.css and you can see we have already defined all the classes for the team section okay so here you can see we have put team left i think we don't need here just i'm removing the extra coding from here i'm changing this team left to the team member because this team member is containing all the images. So here I'm putting team member and this is the class. So it will definitely contain dot. Now I am saving it and coming back to the document to show you that what we did till now. Okay. Yep. Friends, you can see we are getting nice gapping in between the images and it's looking really cool, isn't it? Previously, we are not getting any spacing or gapping in between the images, but for now it's looking so cool. This time I am refreshing it to show you that what we are getting right now. Friends, very first we have created that header you can see right now. So finally, we are not getting any zero gapping in between the sliders we are getting great gapping or spacing in between the images and it's working really fine and you can see the indicators are also working fine so friends we fixed it now in this class i'm gonna creating different section before creating the section i'll be showing you that what photoshop document so just to create okay so for that, just I'm coming back to the Photoshop document. There will come to know that which section we have to create actually. Friends, you can see we are getting this block code which containing the icon, text and the designation. Okay. So in this class, we'll be creating this. And also this is containing the background image. Okay. So it is very easy. First, we'll create the class which will be containing the main icon text designation so why waiting let's do that i am going back to the index page there we'll create a different section and then we'll start doing the things 
here i am putting the section and giving a class to it called manager area friends you can put any class name whatever you prefer here i put a class called manager area this is not predefined class this is not existing anywhere i'll be styling it later on inside this again i am putting a custom class called overlay busy why i am putting this overlay busy because we have to put some overlay over the background image as i shown you in the photoshop document okay so here i put overlay busy and also we need some padding for the section so for that i am creating a custom class again called sec padding means section padding okay inside this i am calling a class from bootstrap called container and this container class is also containing the class from the bootstrap called text center what this text center will do this text center will put all the elements at the very center like vertically center okay so we put here now after this we need the row for the row i am just putting row and row has been created inside this i am putting some column as we know bootstrap allows us to create 12 grid system or 12 grid actually so here i am occupying whole grid like 12 so here i am mentioning call then medium then 12 friends i am getting 12 column with medium size okay call miss column md miss medium and here we have 12 grid right inside this now i am putting some icon as i shown you in the photoshop that we are getting icon text designation so for calling the icon i am putting i and this i will contain the class of the font awesome called fa fa edit this is the fa fa means font awesome okay and also I am putting some font size for this like FA 4, 4x. It means we are getting 4 times bigger the icon. Okay. So we are getting FA, FA dash edit, FA dash 4x. If I show you in the browser then we will get definitely the icon there. Okay. Let me show you. See, we are getting the icon 4 times bigger. Okay. Now this time I am going to creating some text. So let's do that now we need some line break for line break i am using br tag br stands for line break and this time i am putting p p for para tag and inside this i am putting the dummy text which is right here if i show you in the browser then we will get definitely the para text right there now we have to create the author name and the designation so just after closing this p tag i am coming down and taking a heading tag called h5 this h5 will contain the name like daniel and also i am putting some designations so just i am taking the p tag and it will contain the class called word okay inside this i am putting the designation like manager now i am showing you that what we did now friends you can see we are getting the icon text name designation this time i am just gonna decorating it by using the style.css okay so enough talking let's do that i am coming to the style.css and there we'll do the things now i am passing some comments first so i'm just copying the comments from top and then i am putting there then we'll start doing the work i am copying this part by pressing ctrl c or command c and just coming down and here i am pasting and changing its name like block code now we have to put some background image you can see in the photoshop document that we are getting the background image first so we need to find the main class to find the background image so now i am coming to the index page there we'll find the main class so main class is called manager area this manager area will contain the background image i'm just copying it and coming back to the style.css putting dot because this is the class so it will contain dot here we'll make all the things step by step here first i am putting the background image background image url and this time locating the image so image name is 43.jpc and also i am putting some property for it like background size it will be cover and also i am putting some background attachment like fixed so it will behave like parallax parallax means whenever you will scroll the page then you will get some opacity just running up and down and the background image will remain fixed so this is the advantage of this background attachment whenever you will use this background attachment with all the background images then that time you will get your background image fixed 
and only the opacity will move if you have put over that and also I'm putting some background position like top now let's have a look at what we are getting right now yep friends you can see we are getting nice image here but it's not looking something cool isn't it don't worry we'll just put some overlay over this image so for that we need to find the class so on the index page you can see i have already created a class called overlay busy so this time i'm targeting this overlay busy together with this manager area coming back to the style.css and again i'm calling my main class called manager area inside this manager area we have another class called overlay busy overlay busy okay inside this what we will do we'll put some background linear properties okay so it's very easy let me put right now here I am putting background and then it will contain the linear gradient linear gradient it will contain some value actually so I am putting red green blue alpha and this will contain some value like 0 0 0 0.8 I have put four values in the numbers like 0 for the red this 0 for the green and this blue for the 0 and 0.8 for the alpha alpha stands for transparency again i am creating different for the transparency over the image so again i am putting the value as same as the first one but only the thing is we'll change the value one more here i have put 8 here i have put 9 so we'll get more overlay over the image now let's have a look yep friends you can see we are getting nice overlay over this image and it's looking something cool isn't it now we need to put some padding for this section like we are not getting any spacing in between the section from top to bottom so what we will do i'll come back to the document and this time i i have especially put a padding class there let me show you you can see we have a class called sec padding so this sec padding will contain some padding actually so let me do that just come here putting here dot and this is the class so it will contain dot first i am putting some padding to this like 150 pixel and then zero how i am putting this value this is based on the property like trbl top right bottom left so this is for the top right and rest will be bottom left like zero okay so we put the padding now we need to put the color because all the text and the icon color is invisible so for now i am just putting the color and it will be turned into white color whole color will be turned into white right now and also i'm putting some margin top to get some margin from the top so here i'm putting the value like 99 pixel friends you can keep on changing its value to get the perfect result Result. and also I'm putting some font size something around 17 pixel let's have a look at what we are getting yep friends it's looking something cool isn't it see here now let me refresh it to show you that how it's looking actually yep it's looking something cool isn't it now I'm gonna changing this color okay so we have a class called word inside the word class we are getting the manager okay so just come back to the bracket and scroll the page and first I'm calling the class which is the main called manager 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 area and then word first I'm putting some color to this like has fb app 27 this is kind of hot pink okay and also I'm putting some font size to this like 17 pixel now I'm gonna working for this one okay here I'm putting br tag to take a line break friends you can see we are getting nicely designed here and it's looking something cool isn't it hi welcome back friends in the previous class we have created this beautiful section called block now in this class i'm gonna creating different section okay so first take a look in the photoshop document that what we are going to create right here in this class okay so i'm just coming back to the photoshop document friends in the previous class we have created this now in this class i'm gonna creating this beautiful feature see how cool it is so this section is containing two images title heading and the icons okay and also this icon is containing some hover effect 
okay so while waiting let's get started friends i have already exported all the images what is coming right here okay and i have shown you already now in this class first i'm working for this title then we'll go for this one and then this one okay so while waiting let's do that right now i am on the index page here first i'm creating html5 markup then we'll refer to the style css to style it nicely here i am creating a section and giving a id to it called features 2 you can put any class any id name whatever you prefer inside this again i am putting custom class called section title section title and also i am putting different class which is already existing in the bootstrap library so that is container Inside this, we are getting heading tag for the first heading text. Okay, so here I am taking heading tag like h3 and this h3 will contain the class called title. And also I want to make my text, my heading as a bold. So what I will do, I will use here b, b for bold. This is a tag actually. Inside this, I will be putting the text which I want to show there. So I am putting here awesome features. If I show you in the browser, then we'll get definitely this text printed there. Okay. Now, after this, I am taking p tag, p for para tag. Inside this, first, I am putting class for this p. And the class will be subtitle. Inside this subtitle class, I am just putting dummy text. Okay. So, I am putting here lorem and then I am hitting 10. Lorem 10, it means I am getting 10 words as a dummy and just hitting the tab button. Yes, we are getting 10 words right now. And if you want to decrease it, then you can also decrease that. Simply remove the part which you want actually. Now, let me show you that what we are getting right now. I am scrolling the page and you can see, yep. Friends, we are getting the title and the para text. And it's looking cool. Now I am going back to the index page and doing another work. Now after this p tag, I am just creating a another class which is not existing anywhere, and that is title separator. This title separator class will contain a horizontal line just below to the para text, which is right here. Okay. So we created section title and give a heading and the para text. Now I'm just coming down to this closing div and mentioning here line break. We need two line break. So here I'm mentioning br two times. So we'll get two times line break. And also I'm creating another class called section and then content. This is the class which is not existing anywhere. I'll be designing it. Okay. And also I am calling a class from the bootstrap called container. And this will contain the row obviously inside this i am taking 12 column of the grid for that what i will do i'll mention a dot call md 12 here i am taking 12 column with the size of medium okay so we are getting call md 12 now i am working for the different devices so here what i will do i'll just put call lg this is for the large devices like call lg6 this time i am getting Call L6 for the large device and also we have to work for the extra large. So what I will do, I'll mention it call XL5 extra large. This MD stands for medium, this is for the large and this is for the extra large. Okay, so we put here call MD12 and we are getting 12 column occupied beautifully. Inside this again, I am creating a custom class called mockup, mockup. Okay, and also this mockup will contain two images as I shown you in the Photoshop document like we are getting two images at the left side and the right side we are getting all the title heading and the parrot tag. Okay, so what I will do, I'll just put image source to this mockup. So here I am mentioning image and giving a source to it like my image file is available in the image folder and the name is 01.png whenever i will click on the image then it will notify you that this is the image actually okay and also i am passing some class to it like left 
or I'm just putting right. Why I'm putting this right class? Because we have to overlap the one image to the another image. So that time I'm calling this right class to make the overlap over the image. As you can see in the Photoshop document, we are getting two images. One is just overlapping to the another one. Like this first image is overlapping at the second one. So that time I'm calling the right class which I have put there to design or making the overlap just to the another one. Okay. So we put the class here called right now again I am putting another image so here I am putting image and giving a source to it like image and image name is 02.png and also it will contain the class so here I am putting class called left okay so we put two classes right here like right and left if I show you in the browser then we will get definitely two images there let me show you. Friends, you can see we are getting two images here, but it's not looking cool. One is falling down and one is going at the top. So what we'll do, we'll put some styling for it to make it something like looking great. Okay, so don't worry, we'll arrange it. Now this time I'm going for the right side because you can see in the photos of document, here we have three icons available like this, this, this. So here, this time I am working for this one. Okay. If you want to make a copy of the text, then you can do that. Simply click two times on the text and it will give you the copy options. Okay. So we'll talk about it already. Now I am going to the bracket and there we'll do the things. So we have two divs right here and this is a column. Now after this row, you can see I am clicking over the closing div and it is notifying us that this div is containing this material. Okay. So now we need the row. So we have row here inside the row. Again, I am creating another column. So what we will do, I will just make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl C or Command C and pasting inside this. So we have put call mg12, call lg6, call xl5. Or Excel 6. Here I am mentioning Excel 6. You can keep on changing its value, it's up to you. Inside this, again, I am putting custom class called feature box. Feature box. And also I am putting custom class for another one called icon left. Why I am putting this class like icon left? This icon left will contain all the specific styling for the icons, especially like hover effect, like some circularity shape, like this. So we put icon left. Now I am just coming inside this and again I am creating a specific class called icon. Okay. And this time I want to put the icon. You can see in the Photoshop we have three icons available. First is edit, second is horn, third is setting icon. So this time I am gonna putting it. For calling the icon I am putting i tag and this i tag will contain the class called fa fa edit. If I show then we will get definitely this icon available there. So icon class is closing here just coming down to this and this time I am creating a class called content and this content class will contain the heading tag called h6 and this h6 will contain the class not class actually I am putting the title like creative design. And after this H6, we are getting another class called subtitle. Subtitle. And this subtitle will contain all the dummy text like lorem 8. Now I am showing you that what we are getting there, then we'll move further. Okay. Yes. Friends, you can see we are getting two text right here. Like we have subheading, then we have para text. And it's not looking something cool, isn't it? Don't worry, we'll make it something like a spicy. Now after this subtitle I am taking p tag and inside this we will put some dummy text like lorem 30. This time I am taking 30 words for the dummy text. Okay. Let's have a look that what we are getting right now. How much text we are getting. Yeah. It's looking something cool. We can keep on changing its uh, length and its height and weight. It's up to us. Okay. So finally we put the icon like edit. Then we have put the heading, subtitle and the para text. Now just coming down and you can see we have this div closing here and you can see this is the feature box. Okay. So this time what I will do, I'll just keep on duplicating the code like feature box icon left. We'll duplicate it two more times because we need three icons there with three title and subtitle. So just I'll be making a copy of it by bottom like this and keep on duplicating it. 
so we have picture box icon left just copy it by pressing ctrl c or right click and coming down and you can see this is the closing div for the feature box just after this i'll be putting that okay ctrl v what i will do here we will just change the class name or not class name actually just changing the heading so here i am putting the heading called easy customization okay and also i am changing its class here we have fa edit here i am just mentioning bullhorn let's have a look yeah you can see we are getting beautifully here okay and it's looking something cool isn't it now we have to work for third one so just scrolling the page and pasting here by pressing ctrl v and here i am changing the name and everything so this time i'm changing the class not class actually i'm changing the icon name like cog it will show you like the setting icons there then we have some different heading called minimal design minimal design okay so finally we created markup for this now this time i'm gonna working for the styling and we'll make it something like cool isn't it okay so enough talking let's do that for that i am just coming back to the style.css and there we'll take a look that which class we have to call to make the bigger changes there we will call all the classes which is existing here okay so why waiting let's do that friends we have a lot more classes existing here so we need to find the main class so we have main class called section title so this class first i am calling there in the style of css okay first i'll be passing some comment so i'm copying it and just coming at the very down there i'm passing these comments and i'll be doing the work very next to you just changing its name here passing the comment called feature area starts just coming down and first we have a class called section title so here i'm mentioning section and giving a properties to it so here i'm mentioning section title and giving a alignment property we have to align the heading tag and the subheading at the very center like vertically so what i will do i'll use here css3 property called text align and it will be sent obviously and then i'm putting some position to it like relative friends i have discussed about the position like relative inherit fixed and all and all so we'll not discuss about this time because it will take a lot more time and also i'm putting z index what is z index actually z index is actually a property which brings the lower layer at the very top like in the photoshop if we have two layer and one layer is at the top and second is at the bottom then first layer will be visible if that will be bigger if not then both layer will be visible at the same document like that z index work okay so z index 11 then i'm putting padding i'm putting padding bottom something around 50 pixel and also i'm putting margin top something around 60 pixel if i show you in the browser then we'll get see here we are getting our text at the very center and also we are getting here dummy text and it's looking something cool isn't it now if you want to make it something like capital letter then you can do that it's very easy i'll be doing that later on or right now okay so let's do that here i am going back to the index page there will come to know that which class is containing the heading so we have main class called section title and inside this we have class called title so this time i am calling two class together to target this heading text section title and then the title we have two classes there so i am calling two classes to target especially the heading inside this i am putting property called text transform text transform like uppercase and also i am putting some line height to this because we need some gapping that's why i am putting line height called 25 pixel okay see here we are getting nice line height and it's looking cool and also we are getting all the letters and all the word as a capital letter and it's looking cool isn't it now this time i am targeting different class so you can see we have a class called title separator so this title separator will contain the horizontal line just below to this subtitle okay so just going at the index space not index actually i am going to the style of css and here i am mentioning section title and inside this we have a class called title separator separator 
Here I am mentioning margin left auto, margin right auto. So we will not get any overlapping right there for the separator. So this time I am gonna working for the icon. Okay. So for that we need to find in which class that icon is available. Okay. So for that I am coming back to the index space and here we will come to know that which class is actually containing the icon. So we have a main class here called feature box and this feature box is containing the icon. So this time I am calling this feature box class there to put only the display property to make it something like responsive. So here I am coming on the style.css and calling the main class called feature box. This feature box will contain the display property like flex. Friends, you can also put the prefixes like we have WebKit, Opera, MS. This is the prefixes which you can use to make the browser compatibility for the different devices. Okay, so we have feature box. Now this time I'm targeting the icon. So we have an index space and here we have main class called feature box and this feature box is containing the another class called icon. See here. So this time two classes we are targeting right now to target this one. Okay, so why waiting? Let's do that. Coming back to the style.css and just testing here feature box. This is the main class. Inside this we have another class called icon. Now let me indent it. Friends, we can indent it later on. First we have to make the changes then we'll discuss about the indenting. Okay. So here we have put feature box icon. Inside this first I am putting the position like relative. Why I am putting this? Because we need a uh, gapping from the outer side. Not outer side actually. We need a inner side. So I am putting here relative. After this we have border. So here I am putting border and its thickness will be one pixel and its style will be solid and then the color I am putting right now something like EFF to F7. This is like a gray color. See here. Okay. Then I am putting some border radius. We need some circularity just around to the icon. So for that I am putting a border radius something around 50%. 50%. And also I am putting some Z index to it like 1 and display will be something like inline flex. Friends, here I am not using any prefixes like WebKit, Opera or MS like this. I am just putting a universal prefix like the main property. Okay. So after display I am just putting align items. It will be center. Obviously it will be center because we have to put the icon just inside or just at the center of the circle okay then i am putting justify content it will be center obviously and then i am putting some transition why i am putting this transition because we need some a smooth transition and a smooth color in the hover state so it will contain some property like all and also it will contain some duration like 0.35 second and its property is is friends you can keep on changing its value like duration and everything let me open it in the browser then we'll discuss that what we did till now friends you can see the icon is coming right here but we are not getting any font bigger for this okay don't worry i'll be making it something like cool as we are getting in the photos of document this time i'm gonna working for the pseudo property like we have before after ns child last child first child like this we have a lot more property for the pseudo so this time i'm working on the pseudo property like i'll be putting before to this so here i am putting the class called feature box and it has another class called icon and on the icon i'm using pseudo property called before okay Inside this first I am putting content it will be empty obviously it will be empty because it will not contain any extra text or any icon. So I am putting here vacant or empty and also I am putting position called absolute border radius must be 50% and also I am putting some background color to this background color like has EFF to F7 this is kind of gray color and also i am putting some border to this so just duplicating it and changing to this like border 
and its thickness will be one pixel and its value will be solid. Now I am putting some Z index like minus one and also I am putting some transition again to this like all 0.35 second is. Now let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it is just touching one another. It's not looking something cool. Don't worry. We'll be making it or we'll be fixing it nicely. Now what I will do, I will just put width and height for this. Okay, so let's do. Here I am calling the class called feature box inside this we have another class called icon and this icon class will contain width and height actually okay. So here I am putting width something around 110 pixel and also I am putting some height for this. Height 110 pixel and also I am putting some padding to this like 10 pixel all around and we will put some margin to this. Margin to this like or I am putting margin bottom. We need some margin in between the icons. So this time I am putting margin bottom like 50 pixel and also I am putting font size to this like 32 pixel. Okay. Now let's save it and take a look that what we are getting right now then we will talk later. Yes. Friends you can see we are getting bigger icon here and it's looking something cool isn't it. But this circle is not looking so cool okay we will make it something like beautiful now again i am calling the same class called feature box icon before or before calling it simply coming inside this i am putting width to it like 88 pixel and also i am putting some height to this like 88 pixel and then I am putting top value like 10 pixel and let's have a look save it first then go back to the document. Yep, friends we did it see here we are getting nice circularity just around to the icon and it's looking something cool isn't it. It's looking really cool. Now we have to work for this part like we have heading subheading subtitle para text. So we'll be doing it right now and also we are not getting any radius for the border it is not looking so cool so also we'll work for that now we'll work for this heading as you can see it is just overlapping over this icon okay so we need to find its main class then we'll do the things i am coming back to the bracket and here on the index page we have a class let me find that here we have feature box okay inside this we have the icon and also we have content and it is containing the h6 so this time i'm just targeting the main class which is feature box after this we have a main class content and it is containing the heading subtitle so the code will be code will be dot feature box dot content h6 let's do that coming back to the style of css and here i am calling the class as i shown you there first class which i'm calling here is feature box it is containing the content class and also we have s6 which is the heading okay just coming inside this and here first i am putting some transform to make the text as a uppercase so here i am mentioning text transform uppercase so it will turn into the uppercase and also i am putting some font weight called bold and also i am putting margin bottom something around minus 30 pixel because we need some margin there okay let's have a look yes you can see we are getting the font as a bold and the uppercase but we are not getting something cool okay so this time what i will do i'll just put some extra property to remove all the overlapping okay so coming back to the bracket and this time i'm not targeting the content class only i'm targeting the heading tag called h6 so let me take the extra white space then doing the things here i'm mentioning the feature box this is the class inside this we have h6 and on the h6 we are using pseudo property called after this after property will contain some property like content and also I am putting some display property to it called block. Okay. And then I am putting here some margin. 
like 20 pixel from top to right and rest will be auto obviously then i'm putting height to this like 4 pixel and it has width like 25 pixel let's have a look that what we are getting right now yep friends we are not getting any overlapping for this text but previously we are getting this text as an overlap by coming over this text and it's not looking cool right now it's looking really nice this time i am working for this icon because it is just overlapping over the text so what we will do we will find its class and then we will put some margin left property to push it just behind okay so i am coming back to the bracket and here going at the index page there we have a class called icon left see here we have a class called icon left and this is containing the icon called all the icons which is basically used here okay so the main class will be feature box icon left content okay so let me copy this part from here by pressing ctrl c and coming to the style.css there i am pasting it like this this is a class so it will contain dot definitely and this is also a class so it will contain dot now inside the icon left class we have another class called content which is containing the icon actually so just i am targeting that and putting here margin left something around 35 pixel so we will get some margin in between the section or in between the elements let's have a look friends you can see we are getting great gapping in between the elements and it's looking something cool isn't it it's looking really nice we are not getting any overlapping now this time what i will do i'll just put this image at the very top of this one okay so for that we need to find its main class okay after finding the main class we can push it just at the top as you can see in the photoshop document we are getting the image one another overlapping okay so this first image will be coming at the very top to this second one we'll do it definitely here i am coming to the index page there will come to know that which class is containing the image okay so we have a class here let me show you let me find that then we'll do the things we have a class here image 2 and image 1 this is the left class actually so this left class will be containing the margin top property okay so let's have a look here in the style your css here i am putting left and then i am giving some margin top value margin top something around minus 527 you can keep on changing its value okay this will be in the pixel obviously and i am showing you that how it's coming yep friends you can see we are getting our image right here and it's looking something cool isn't it now we have to work for this hover state okay on the icon so just coming back to the bracket and we have a class let me find that we have a class here called feature box and it is containing the class called icon left and inside this we have another class called icon so this time i'm targeting three classes together to target the main class for the icon okay so what we need to do just i'm making a copy of it by pressing ctrl c coming back to the style.css and here i'm pasting it and we need to put here dot because this is a class so it will it will definitely contain dot and inside this icon left we have another class called icon so i'm just targeting that now i'm targeting the right icon as well for that what i will do i'll just duplicate it one more time and only will change its class called right i am targeting two classes together first we have left second we have right so both classes will be targeted beautifully here it will not be comma here i have put the comma to separate the classes classes just putting all the things right here first i'm putting font size something around 24 pixel and also i'm putting some padding to it like 5 pixel and then i'm putting minimum width something around 78 pixel friends you can keep on changing its value okay it's up to you then i'm putting height something around 78 or 79 it's up to you then i'm putting background color to this like i'm using a hex color code like has eff2 f7 it is kind of gray color okay now i'm showing you in the browser friends you can see we are getting nice color here and it is looking something cool isn't it but we are not getting as we wanted actually okay so don't worry i'll be designing, designing it beautifully this time i'm gonna using pseudo property like before okay so let's do that coming back to the bracket and here just defining the class 
I am copying the whole part by pressing Ctrl C or duplicating it by pressing Ctrl D and here only we will change the pseudo probability. Here I am putting before probability which is from the pseudo. And also I am targeting here. Friends, we have a lot more pseudo probability like we have another child, last child, first child, old, even before, after. This is the pseudo probability which can change a lot of things in a second okay so we have put before two times now i am just separating it by putting the comma here we'll put width and height everything width will be something around 66 pixel and also i'm putting some height to this like 66 pixel and also i'm putting top value 5 pixel left will be something around 5 pixel obviously and then i'm putting border color to this like has friends most of the time i am using the hex color code you can put the main color code if you know like if you want to put the orange color then you can put orange if you want to get a uh, yellow color then put the yellow not the hex color code if you know actually if you don't know then you can use hex color code by using the photoshop so here i am putting ddd e this is the color like gray and also i am putting some background color to this like white so you can put white or just put the hex color code like triple f triple f okay let's have a look yep friends you can see we are getting nice circularity just around to the icon and it's looking something cool isn't it now this time we have to work for the hover state okay so we'll do it definitely also we have to push a little bit down because you can see this section is this right part is not coming at the very center of this image so we have to push a little bit down so we'll do it definitely for that we need to find the class so we have a class called content inside the content we have the icon so what we'll do i'll just duplicate it one more time by pressing ctrl d here only we'll change the class I'm just removing the icon because we don't need here. We This time only I'm targeting whole part, content. And also I'm putting here content as well, content as well. And here I'm separating it by putting comma. Then I'm putting margin top value. Margin top value like something 15 pixel. I'm just showing you. Yes, friends, you can see it is pushing a little bit down. See here. But icon is not coming at the town. Don't worry, we can put it easily. Okay, it's very easy. So what we'll do? I'll just come back to the bracket, and this time I'm just pushing the icon at the way down. For that, we will just duplicate it one more time by pressing Ctrl D, and we have a class called icon. So here I'm asking icon, and here and here as well. Let's have a look, friends. You can see it is pushed a little bit down if you want to increase or decrease even more then you can do it now i am increasing 10 pixel more so it will become 25 let me do that yes you can see it is coming down and it's looking something cool isn't it now we have to work for the hover state it is not looking something cool right and also we have to fix this because it is not looking as the photoshop showing right now let me show you you can see we are getting some gapping in between the text so this time i'm gonna working for this so we need to know in which class the main subtitle is coming so here on the index page we have a main class first i'm just showing you that where it is existing we have a subtitle you can see here we have subtitle and it is available inside the content class and this content is coming inside the icon left and this icon left is having inside the feature box so the code will be dot feature box dot icon left dot contain dot subtitle then it will be targeted beautifully so i'm coming to the style dot css we will be doing it now just duplicating this part one more time by pressing ctrl d and here i'm just changing the class like i'm putting a content which is the main class for the subtitle so here putting subtitle subtitle a spelling must be correct then it will work otherwise it will never gonna work okay now also i'm putting a content and it has subtitle class inside subtitle here i'm putting font size to this like 13 pixel or 14 pixel it's up to you font size like 13 pixel and here i'm putting margin bottom like 6 pixel let's have a look yes friends you can see it is notifying us that we are getting this much space in between the text yes it's looking something cool isn't it now this time we have to work for the hover state so whenever we'll put our mouse pointer over the icon then we'll get nice hover state okay so it's very easy we'll do it right now 
for that what i will do i'll just come back to the bracket there i will use css3 property called hover so here i mentioning feature feature box hover and also i'm putting here icon because we need to put the hover on the icon it will contain the color like white definitely and this time i'm using the pseudo property called before to put the background color so just duplicating it by pressing control d and on the icon i'm using pseudo property called before and it will be having the background color background color like hot pink fb 527a this is kind of a hot pink color let's have a look yep friends we did it see here how cool it is so finally we created this beautiful looking feature section okay i hope you enjoyed it friends if you have any issue regarding this then let me know i'll be glad to help you so stay tuned in the next till then keep practicing hi welcome back friends in the previous class we have created this beautiful section called awesome features it is containing the images title para text description and some hover effect on icons and it is working really fine now in this class i am going to creating some different section before creating that just take a look that what we did till now okay so just i am going at the top and showing you that what we have done already see here how cool it is so friends in this class we are going to create some different section for creating that we'll come to know that what photoshop permits us to create okay for that i am just coming back to the photoshop document and there we'll come to know that which part and which section we have to create right here in this class friends in this class i am going to creating this responsive tabs from various scratch and for creating it i'll be using some jquery plugin and html5 markup with a styling okay so why waiting let's get started before going there just take a look that what this section is containing this section is containing four menus and it is called tabs and also it is containing some image number text and everything okay so enough talking now let's get started i am just coming back to the bracket which is the text editor and here we will start doing the markup after the markup we will do the styling and jquery work okay so here it is first i am creating the id and giving the id name friends you can give any id name whatever you prefer here i am giving a id name as services services 2 you can prefer anything whatever you prefer okay so here we have id service 2 friends we have created here a markup this is comment actually you can create it and it will never make any changes in your web page it is just for notifying that my section is starting from this position okay so we have services too this is the id actually you can also put here class but here i am putting id and then i am calling another class called content box content box with medium size so it is custom class i'll be designing it later on here it is not predefined as we usually use the bootstrap classes like container row and call md like this so that is not that is called a predefined but this is not this is custom actually so just coming inside this and again creating the id and giving an id name to it like services tabs this is also a custom id now we need some line break because sometimes if we don't put any line break then we will not get any spacing in between the section to the heading that's why i am putting here line break two times or three times for the line break we have a tag called br just putting br two times and it's done now i am coming down to this and this time i am taking another tag which is predefined already in the html that is called ul ul stands for on order list it will be containing the class and then i am calling the class of boost tab called test center so all the tabs like four tabs we have will be coming at the vertically center okay so for that i am using a boost tab class called text center okay so just mentioning here text center 
and then I'm working for the four tabs. Friends, you have noticed in the Photoshop document that we have four tabs available like we have responsive optimization web design development so that four tabs i am just creating right here in this ul class okay for creating the menus or tab we mostly use li tag so li and it will be containing the anchor link and this anchor link will contain the name as you can see in the photos of document we have four equally divided columns this is not column actually this is a tab and it is first giving responsive optimization web design development so there's menus i'm creating right here now so just i'm coming back to the bracket and there i'll be defining it okay here giving a name to it like first we have responsive friends now i am duplicating it three more times because we have four tabs so we have created one now we have remained three more so i'm pressing ctrl or cmd or cmd plus d to duplicate it like this so we have duplicated it four more times now i'm just changing its name so here will be optimization here i mentioned web design then we have development development okay if i show you in the browser then we'll get definitely four tabs available there let me show you i'm coming back to the bracket not bracket actually i'm coming to the web and you can see just scrolling the page and let you know what we did till now friends you can see we have created four menus like responsive optimization web design development and it's looking something cool don't worry i'll be designing it later on beautifully first we have to create the simple markup then we'll refer for the styling okay so for that just coming back to the bracket friends now i'm gonna working for the image like we are getting the image in the left side in the photoshop document so this time we'll work for the left image for that just coming down to this evil closing tag and here i am defining another section okay so just mentioning id here and giving an id name to it like service tab one tab one okay so it's been expanded friends why we are getting this expansion because here i am using the plugin called emit so whenever you will write any short line of code then you can expand that by clicking over the tab button and it is working really cool isn't it then i am coming back to the class and again this time i am creating another class called service tab so we have created one id second class okay so id will be called just for the targeting the main section and service will be called as a class inside this i am calling a class of the bootstrap called container container which is the data footer you can put any data in the container to make that data as responsive after this we have row it is also predefined class in bootstrap now we need six column for that we have a bootstrap and bootstrap allows us 12 equally divided column like we have 12 so here we need two columns equally divided so what i will do i will just divide 12 by 2 then we'll get the result like 6 so here column will be call md6 call md6 it means column medium 6 here i am occupying 6 column with the medium size for the columns so just expanding it now inside this i am putting the image so my image is already existing in the image folder so here i am mentioning image and giving a source to it like a1 this is the image name actually or i am just locating the image my image is available in the image folder so just i am calling that right now okay so image folder and here we have image called a1.jpg if i show you in the browser then we'll get definitely the image there friends you can see we are getting the image here and it is working really cool now this time i am going for the rest column which we have left there as i said we have 12 column okay so now we need two more so what we'll do we'll just do we'll just divide 12 by 2 then we'll get the result 6 so we have occupied 6 column for this image now we have left or rest we have 6 column just left out so this time i'm calling this right now coming back to the bracket and just scrolling the pairs we have div here for the column now we have re remained six more so again i'm calling the call md6 now totally we have occupied six column two times 
it means we are getting 12 column and now it is working really cool coming inside this and again creating a class called tab busy this tab busy will contain the background color like white or gray whatever you put inside that you can put now just expanding it inside this i am taking the heading tag called h2 and it will be containing the number so here i am putting number called 1 okay and then i am taking another heading tag called h3 and it will be also containing some dummy text here I am mentioning another dummy text called when creativity matters in life. Matters in life. Okay. Let me show you that what we are getting. Yep. Friends, you can see it is designing beautifully and it is looking so cool, isn't it? Now I'm just coming inside this and again this time I'm taking P tag, P for para tag and inside this I am putting dummy text like lorem ipsum here we need 30 words so just mention lorem and 30 hit the tab button and you will get 30 words ready for you it is just amazing isn't it now scrolling the pairs and here we will create another id which will contain the button actually okay so let's do that just coming down to this closing p tag and it will be having the id called service2 service2 class must be cracked then it will be working or it will not if you not put the correct class name there in the style.css then it will never gonna work so here i am mentioning services too and it will be having another class called btn01 okay this is a btn class i am using here to call the btn inside this what we will do i am just taking the anchor tag like a and this a will contain the name like get in touch get now this button class will be containing some another class as well here i put services friends you can see we are getting too much bigger classes or id it is not looking so cool isn't it so you can just leave it or remove it it's up to you i'm just leaving it here i'm putting class and giving a class to it like btn this is the predefined class in bootstrap and also i'm putting different class called btn general and also I am putting custom class button yellow. This button yellow will contain the color. Okay. And it is, I think it's perfect. Now let's have a look. Yeah. You can see we are getting here the button, text, number, everything looking cool. Okay. Now we have to work for two, three, four. We have four tabs here. See. And all the tab will contain different title text button image okay so now we have created one more now we have remained four more so why waiting let's do friends now i am creating the id to link this so let's do here i have put the anchor link this anchor link will contain the id actually so i have created the id at the top let me show you first here i am putting the id first okay then all the id will be calling there before putting anything just creating the markup then we'll do the things i am removing the extra spaces which we are getting in between the tags and it's not looking so cool it's looking something weird isn't it so we have done right now now i am going to work for the second tab okay so it is very easy simply i'll be going to make a copy of that and I'll do the things nicely here we have div id service tab just i am copying it from very scratch like this and keep on duplicating three more times because we have remained three images to put so just copying it by pressing ctrl c or going at the right side and click on the copy and just scroll the pairs and paste at the way down here now what we'll do here only will change its name here it is service tab now i'm putting service tab 2 and this will be same as it is and also i'm changing the name like a2.jpc yep it's cool then I am going to change the number and everything. Here it will be D4. Now let's have a look at how it's coming there. Okay. Yes, it is looking cool, isn't it? Now we have remained two more. Okay. So we are going to do that. I have already copied it. Now I am just duplicating it two more times and changing the name. Here I am changing the number and the name and everything. Here it will be A3, I think. Yeah now changing the heading it's very easy let me do that here i'm changing the button name like button 3 and going at the top and also changing here like button 2 now one now we have remained one more so just scrolling the pairs right now and here i am putting that here it will be 4 and also the 
name will be changed right now here i am putting a4 or a5 i think a5 yeah here i am changing its name like 4 it will be 4 and also it will and also i am changing its heading tag right here so here i am mentioning development development and interactivity tvt in web let's have a look that what we are getting friends finally we created four images right here and it is not images actually this is tab this is tab and it's looking so cool isn't it now i am gonna working for the styling for this okay so it's very easy simply i'll be going for the style.css and the i'll be designing everything from very scratch okay so why waiting let's get started i am coming back to the bracket right now and then i am finding the main class which is containing all the properties of the elements okay so we'll do it right now coming back to the bracket friends first we'll find the main class okay then we'll do the rest work i am going at the very top and finding the main class which is containing all the elements so we have main class called services2 and this is the id so it will contain has when i'll calling inside the style.css just copying it and coming back to the style.css and there we'll pass the command we'll pass the command then we'll do the things so I have already passed the command here, just coming down here and pressing Ctrl V and has, this is the ID so it is containing the has. Now I am putting background color to this, background color like F4, 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 this is kind of gray color, let me click over it, yep, you can see. Now I am putting some margin top, something around 90 pixels, so we will get some margin from the top nicely, let's have a look. Yep, friends, you can see we are getting nice margin from the top and we are also getting gray color in the background of this tab and it is working really cool. Now I am going to work for the different parts. So just coming back to the index page and this time I am working for this services tab and it is containing the menus like tab menus, responsive optimization, web design, development. So the code will be, code will be has services tabs, ul. Let's copy this part from here. Why I am copying this part or this class or the ID? Because whenever you write the class or the ID in the style.css and if you have misspelled, then that time that will not gonna work and it will create whole issue. That's why I am gonna copy from here. I am copying it and let's come back to the style.css and this is the ID so it will contain has. And inside this we have ul. Okay, let me increase its font size. Here I am putting margin bottom, margin bottom something around 40 pixels. So we will get some margin from the bottom. Okay. Now also I am calling the evil li which is containing the anchor link. So here I am mentioning li and this li will contain some padding. Friends, why I am calling this li because this is the main class or the id and it is containing the evil tag, evil is containing the li and this li is containing the anchor link which is actually a menu containing let me show you here in the index page you can see here we have main class then we have evil and then after li after this a anchor is coming with containing the menus that's why i am calling there right now it will be having some padding so here i am mentioning padding and this time i am working on the padding like trbl top right bottom left so here I am mentioning top right something around 5 pixel and rest will be 30 pixel. Okay, now check it out. Yep, friends you can see we are getting some gapping in between the menus of the tab and it's looking something cool. Okay, now I am targeting the anchor link. So here I am just duplicating it and removing the properties and here I am just adding the A. A is containing the tab menu. Let me take the spaces. Here I am mentioning font family first. So I will be putting font family later on first. I am mentioning font size something around 14 pixel and also I am putting color for this like has 212226 or 3 times 26. I am putting text transform like uppercase so all the text will be uppercase beautifully and then I am putting font weight bold and padding will be 0, text decoration none. Now let's have a look. Yeah, friends, it's working really cool. And also I'm adding some font family here. Font family like 
we have roboto which i am using right now roboto condensed condensed and also i'm gonna using sans serif sans serif okay yes cool it's cool now i am working for the active tab because without active tab we are not getting any hover state and all and all okay so we'll do it right now here i'm mentioning services tabs and inside this we have ul and this ul is contain li and this is the r tabs why i am putting this because we have a plugin called jquery responsive tab which is containing the custom class called r tabs so that class i am calling here but here i am not calling any plugin i'll be calling the plugin after the styling complete here i mention state active a first i am putting the color and it will be having the color like fb 527a font weight something around 700 obviously and also i am putting some border bottom something around 30 pixel its thickness solid and the color will be something around this fb 527a You can see it is looking so cool, isn't it? It's looking really nice. Now I'm putting some padding bottom, something around 5 pixel, and just I'm putting some transition value to get some smooth scroll like border, color, 300, 300 millisecond, and linear. Now we'll go for the column. Okay, so first I'm coming back to the index, and you can see we have service tab and it is containing. We have a lot more service tab right here. Let me show you. Here we have service tab. This is the class and it is also containing column. So this time I am targeting this service tab together with this column D6 to remove the padding. Okay. So let's do that. Coming back to the style.css and just having the extra white space and just doing the thing. Service tab call md6 inside this i'm just putting some padding something around zero okay now this time i'm gonna working for the image so this service tab is containing the image already so just copying it and pasting down and this time i'm targeting the image source okay and also i'm putting some width to it like 100 percent and also i'm putting some margin to this like zero auto friends make sure to call the same class which is containing or which is coming on the markup so you can see i am calling here service tab and it is actually calling there now this time i am gonna working for different class which is existing there so we have this class tab bg which is containing the number text paratext so this time what the code will be code will be service tab tab bg let's do that coming back to the style.css and here i am mentioning service tab dot tab bg tab bg is the class so i am putting here dot just next to the class name and also i am putting some background to this like white and also i am putting some padding to this like 59 pixel for from top to right and rest will be 30 pixel obviously let's have a look it's working really fine now i am going for the heading tag okay so let's do i am mentioning the service tab which is the class and also it is containing the heading tag like h2 so this h2 i am calling right here and putting some font size something around 48 pixel and also i am giving some color to this like triple b and also i am putting margin bottom something around 20 pixel and font weight likely 100 yeah you can see we are getting the number increment and it's looking cool now this time i'm gonna working for this h3 this text is coming inside the h3 okay so we'll be doing it right now just calling the class service tab and it is containing the h3 and it will be containing font size something around 32 pixel and also i'm putting some margin bottom to this like 30 pixel take a look yep friends it's looking so cool isn't it see here now this time i'm gonna working for this paratext 
okay so we'll be doing it right now there so what the main code will be main code will be service tab p because this service tab is also containing the p tag okay let's have a look here i'm coming back to the index page and you can see we are getting here service tab and it is also containing the p here so the code will be dot service tab p here i am putting line height to this like 24 pixel and also i am putting some margin bottom something around 30 pixel so we'll get some margin there beautifully see here we are getting nice margin and it's looking well now this time i'm gonna working for the button okay for that we need to find in which class the buttons are available so just scrolling the page friends you can see we are getting the button but we need to find its main class actually so you can see we have main class button general so this is the generic class which i'm calling there to put the basic properties so here just coming back to the style.css and just right now i am calling the class called button general and it will be having some property of css3 first i am putting font family okay for putting the font family just going at the top there i'll be copying a font family which is already put here i am copying it by pressing ctrl c and going at the down there i'm pasting it and now I am putting border radius something around 28 pixels so we'll get some radius or circularity shape around to the border or edges so here I am mentioning 28 pixel and then I am going for the font size something around 13 pixel pixel and this time also I am putting text transform like uppercase and margin will be something around 06 pixel top right left value it is and then i'm going for the padding 12 pixel from top right will be something around 46 pixel and also i'm putting 12 pixel for the rest and the 46 for the rest okay now if you want to put some transition or a smooth hover effect then you can do that it's very easy simply mention transition and give up properties to it like all and it will contain some duration like 0.5 second is in is out fade in fade out it's up to you if you want to put let's save it yes you can see it is transforming right now but we are not getting any background color inside this so don't worry this time i'm gonna adding some background color to this okay so we have main class there called button yellow so that button yellow i'm calling right here to put the background color okay so here first i'm mentioning color like white and then i am putting border to this like its thickness will be one pixel and solid and then the color like fb 527a it is kind of a pink hot pink or dark pink light pink actually then i am putting background color to this like has same color i am putting right now let's have a look yep friends we did it see here how cool it is it is looking really nice isn't it all the things have been done beautifully now we have to work for the hover state so whenever we we'll put our mouse pointer over this then we'll get some hover on the elements so it will look like something cool isn't it okay so we'll do it right now let's do that we have two classes there first we have button yellow and button white so that class i'm calling right here like button yellow and on the button yellow i am gonna using hover state so whenever any user will put their mouse pointer over this then they will get a nice hover and focus state focus what is focus focus means activated and also i'm putting color here like white then border color like has two one two 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 six and also i'm putting border to this I think we need to put the background here first background then different one background then border like one pixel solid two one two 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 six now we have remained one class that is called button white so again I am coming here and calling that btn white white okay it will be having color like has again same color two 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 one two 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 six and i am putting some border like one pixel solid 
white and we need background color so again i'm putting background color like white now saving it and showing you yep friends we did it see we are getting nice hover state on the elements and it is working really cool isn't it now this time we have to work for this menu to work now this time we have to work on this menu so whenever we'll click over it that it will get filtered and it will get slide okay so we'll do it right now let's do for doing it we'll use jquery plugin so i'm coming to the bracket not bracket browser actually You can see very first link we have github simply follow this one after following you will be getting this page friends simply come to google search jquery responsive tabs dot main and very first we have link called github simply follow this very first after following you will be getting this page as i am getting right now simply scroll the page click over the clone or download and you will get downloading option start downloading and it will be downloaded once it will be downloaded you can make the copy and paste the things friends i am coming to the responsive tab here and you can see we have css inside the css very first we have responsive tabs dot css simply put this file in your css folder where all the files are existing then we have this javascript file and in and inside this javascript we have this file called jquery responsive tab dot main dot js okay so this time i'm gonna putting all the files inside that folder where all the files are existing okay so first we'll put this file called responsive tabs dot main dot css or responsive tabs dot css let me put it right there friends this is the main folder where all the files are existing just inside this first i'm putting this responsive tabs dot css after this i'm gonna put in js file so just come back to the js folder and here we have the file called jquery responsive tabs dot main dot js let me copy inside this okay we have pasted two files first jquery responsive tabs then we have css file called responsive tabs now this time i am gonna linking all the plugin which we have pasted inside the folder okay so coming back to the bracket and going at the very top there i am linking it just next to you here we have index file come back to the index go at the very top there we will link it okay first i am passing some comment by pressing ctrl c and pasting at the top and giving a name to it like responsive tab responsive tab now i'm linking it by giving a link source link and here we have responsive tabs dot css now this time i'm gonna linking js file Here I am mentioning a script tag and giving a source to it like jquery responsive tabs dot min dot js. So two files we have linked beautifully. Now this time we will call this plugin there. Okay. So don't worry, we'll be doing it right now next to you. I am coming to the main dot js and here I am passing some comment. And before passing the comment, what I will do? I'll just call the function so i'm mentioning dollar sign and then the function and it will be having all the property which is basically for the responsive tabs so we have a main class called service tab this is not a class actually this is the id let me show you in the index space i am coming at ju i am coming just at the top and let you know the id first id which is the main id right now we have the main id here services tabs just copying it and coming to the main.js and here i am linking it has service tabs then i am calling the class for the 
class for it like responsive tabs here it will be dollar sign okay it is not has actually animation slide so it will slide at the bottom now let's save it and take a look at what we are getting i am coming to the index page and saving it and coming back to the document friends you can see we are not getting anything you know why because we didn't link the file see here we are getting these things but it's not looking so well okay and this is so weighted okay so we'll be removing it right now and before removing it what we will do here we will add some br tag to get some line break okay so we'll be doing it right now here i am adding br six more times to get a line break and also i am linking the tabs with section okay i didn't link that so we are not getting any working file there so this is the first id just i am copying it and pasting here control v and this is the id so it will contain has definitely similarly i am putting for the rest one control v it will be two obviously it will be two and then i am going for the third one and here i am pasting as well giving a name to it like three and also here now let's have a look wow friends this is not working because we didn't call the exact class okay or the id let's do that here we have the main id let me put right now okay so i put here service tab 4 and it's working really nice now we need some line break okay so friends you can see we are not getting any line break even if we added here be attacked different more times so just deleting it and coming back to the top there we will add some line break okay so it is very easy simply come here and add br two or three more times as the requirement is let's have a look so finally we created this beautiful section called responsive tabs see how cool it is now i am clicking over this tabs and you can see it is sliding beautifully see how cool it is so friends in this class we have created this beautiful section called responsive tabs from very scratch i hope you enjoyed it friends if you have any issue regarding this then let me know i'll be very glad to help you so stay tuned see you in the next till then keep practicing hi welcome back friends in the previous class we have created this beautiful tab see how cool it is working friends in the previous class we created this now in this class i'm gonna creating some different section okay so first take a look that what we did till now friends you can see how cool the section is appearing right here now in this class i'm gonna creating some different section which photoshop allows us okay so why waiting let's take a look that what we are getting in the photoshop document then we will do the work here it is friends previously we created this now this time i am gonna creating this beautiful gallery filter see how cool it is it is containing four menus like all projects graphics web design marketing and also it is containing two equally divided column and this column is containing four images like you can see in one row we are getting four images and also in the second row we are getting four extra images so we are getting totally eight images and all are clickable so whenever you will click over the image then that image will pop up very next to us and also these menus will work fine so whenever we will click on this menus then all the images will get filtered okay so enough talking now let's do that friends first i am creating the html markup then we'll go for the styling okay so we'll do it right now I am just coming on the index page which is right here and scrolling the page at the way down there I will be passing some comment then we will do the work. Friends I am removing the extra spaces and just coming down to this and here we will create the gallery filter effect. First I am gonna creating the html5 markup ok. So we will do it right now. Here I am giving a section and giving a class to it called works. 
this works class is the custom class i'll be designing it later on now i'm just coming inside this section class and here what we'll do i'll call the bootstrap class called container and this container will also contain another bootstrap class called row inside this row i am passing another class called filtering okay spelling must be correct and also i am calling a class of the bootstrap called text center so it will align the things at the very center okay and if you want to use some column then you can also use that simply come here and mention column like call sm12 friends we have 12 grid system in the bootstrap or column in the bootstrap like we have call md call access call lg and call sm what is call sm call sm means call sm means column a small 12 so here i am occupying 12 column with a small sizes now just coming inside this and this time i am calling another class which is not existing anywhere i'll be designing that later on here i am mentioning the class called filter and this filter class will contain four menus like we have all projects graphics web design marketing so first i am mentioning the span and this span will contain some class and the menus name so first i am putting some menus name okay so here i am mentioning all projects okay now we need three more so what we'll do i'll just duplicate it three more times by pressing ctrl d or command d so let's put that just i'm clicking over this and pressing ctrl d three more times to duplicate three more times now we are getting four menus here we'll change the menus name like we have first all projects second graphics and last not last actually third one will web design web design and last one will be marketing marketing if i show you in the browser then we'll get four menus right there let me show you so let's see in the browser i'm coming back to the browser and taking a look friends you can see we are getting four menus equally divided like we have all projects graphics web design marketing but it is not looking like a menus don't worry i'll be transforming it into the menus as i shown you in the photoshop document okay so let's do another work so we created four menus now i'm giving some filter to it okay so here i'm mentioning some data attribute like data filter and it will be having single code and it will be having the a star why a star this is the universal selector it means it will by default selected this all project will by default selected always because i am targeting the menus by putting the universal selector like a star and also i am putting a class here called active active okay now what i will do i will just copy this part by selecting and pasting to the second one right here so we put data filter star now i am changing this here it will be brand it is the class actually which i am gonna creating right here for the different section and here i am mentioning same thing and only will change the class like here i have put brand now i am putting different one called web and also i am working for the fourth one like this just changing its name like graphic graphic okay so we created four menus right here and also give some data filter attribute it's cool now this time i'm going to do some other work friends now we have to work for the image like we have images and all are having some animation effects hover effect and filtering effect okay so this time we'll work for that now what i will do i'll put clear fix here this is the class which is existing in the bootstrap library it means we are removing all the floats from the document okay so we created clear fix now we need some line break friends in the photoshop document you can see this image is getting some line break from the top and it's looking cool because we are getting some line break in between the menus and the images so that gapping we need here so what we'll do for getting this gapping we need br tag so i'm just coming here and taking three or four times br tag to get some line break okay br tag is basically used to get some line break so we got line break right now now i am working for the gallery for gallery just i am creating a class called gallery and this gallery class will contain full width i am putting a full width i will be designing it later on okay inside this we need some column so again i am creating the column by mentioning dot call lg3 
call miss column as miss large and three column we are getting here and also i am working for the different column like medium size so here i am mentioning call md6 and also i am giving a dummy class or custom class here called items and it will be graphic friends you can see i have put a filtering here like graphic and this graphic is calling from here and this is a class actually you can see i have put the class here called call lg call md items graphic so this graphic class i am targeting with the menu called marketing so whenever you will click over the marketing then it will be filtered with this effect okay it's cool now just coming inside this and this time i am creating another class called item image this item image will contain all the images so first i am calling my image for calling the image i am giving a image source and this time i am locating my image so my image is available in the image folder called portfolio okay so just i am locating that portfolio here it is image folder and we have the image called 001.jpg so this is the image now i am giving a class to it called image responsive so it will come by having the responsiveness okay let's have a look that what we are getting right now then we'll move further okay so friends you can see we are getting the image right here and it is looking so cool isn't it now we have to work for seven different more okay so we'll do it right now so we have image source and it is containing 001.jpg now just coming down to this and this time again i am creating different class called image called item image overlay overlay so we created class here called item image overlay now it will also contain another class called overlay info it will be having some text okay and also i am putting some full width so we'll get full with occupying now i am putting or i am taking p tag p for para and it will be containing the name like logo whatever you want to put you can put that logo and then the different text like branding and also i am taking the heading tag called h6 and this h6 will contain the different name like creative web design web design if i show in the browser then we will get definitely a different look let me show you see we are getting logo branding creative web design and it is looking so cool isn't it now i want to make it something like whenever we will click over it then we will get this item opening same time on the same page for that again i am creating the anchor link and that anchor link will contain the image like this one i am scrolling the page and just after this h6 i am putting anchor link and this anchor link will contain the image like 001.jpg okay and here i am giving a class to it called pop image means pop up image okay and inside this anchor link again i am taking span class span tag and this span will be having a class called icon and inside the icon we have a font or some icon just taking here by mentioning i tag and this i will contain f a f a arrow this will give a arrow icon there now just saving it and letting you know that what we did till now friends we are getting two text here but the icon is not visible okay don't worry we'll make it visible now let me check it out that is our font or some linked or not we have font awesome here right now and this time we will have to take a look that we are the mistake that we are not getting the fonts there let me delete the space which we are getting here okay so we have i class this is containing f a f a dash arrow and this time we are putting right we are not putting any right class that's why we are not getting now we have put the exact class for the icon yes you can see in the very bottom we are getting this icon and it's working really cool now we have to work for the rest one okay so we'll be doing it right now now what we'll do i'll just copy whole part which i have selected already i have clicked on it and it is notifying that this is containing this class so what we'll do i'll just make a copy of it by pressing control c or command c and just paste it at the down copying it and scrolling the page little bit down and here just taking extra white space 
and putting it right here control V now what we will do here I am changing the name because we have some data filter attribute you can see at the very top we have added graphic for the marketing menu let me show you first yeah you can see marketing menu is containing graphic now this time I am putting for the web design so we have attribute called web so this web I am just putting there which I have already put here okay now I am changing its name like 002.jpg name will be perfect it's looking cool if you want to change it then you can change it or just leave it okay now I am changing the name only image name only okay so you can see two images are right here and it is looking cool now likely will work for the third four and fifth other images for likely will work for the all images okay so we'll be doing it right now again duplicating it one more time here changing the name this time I am giving a name to it like brand brand and changing the name to it like three three also I am working for the fourth one just here graphic is perfect now I'm changing its name like 004.jpc and here as well friends let's have a look at what we are getting yes we are getting four images right here and it is just beautiful now we have to work for the rest for one okay so what we'll do again we'll do the same work control V here I'm changing the name like here it will be web web and image will be something default like 005.jpz 005 again and again coming down and this time again putting it and changing the name like 006 here as well it's fine okay now if you want to change the attribute then you can do that simply come here and change the attribute like I'm mentioning a brand okay now we have remained two more so we'll be doing it right now Friends, finally we created the simple markup and it is looking so cool, isn't it? But the menu is not working and not looking as we saw you in the Photoshop document. Don't worry, this time we are going to work for the styling for this one, okay? So it's done, see you in the next. Till then, keep practicing. Friends, in the upcoming videos, just I'll be styling it beautifully. Hi, welcome back. Friends, in the previous class, we have created this beautiful markup. Now, in this class, I'm gonna creating some different section. Before creating that, just here, we'll style it. For styling it, we'll use CSS3 properties. Okay, so enough talking. Now, let's get started. Friends, for styling the gallery filter, we need to know the main class first. So I'm just going at the top and there we'll take a look that which class is containing all the elements for the gallery filter. Okay. So here it is. You can see we have very first class called works and this work class is containing different class as well like filtering and the filter. So three classes I am targeting this time right now in the style.css. Coming back to the style.css and just scrolling the page a little bit down and here we'll do the work just next to you. Friends, we have a main class called works and inside the work class we have another class called filtering and, the, and then the filter. So here I'm mentioning works. This is the main class. After this we have filtering class and after this we have filter. We are targeting three classes together. Now I am putting some display inline block. Why I am putting this? Because all the menus are not coming by getting some gapping in between the menus. So this time I am putting inline block so we will get some gapping in between the menus. And then I am putting some padding to this something around 29 pixel from top to right and rest will be 15 pixel. Okay. If I show you in the browser then we will get 
something different you can see it is transforming right now and also we are getting some gapping or a spacing in between the menu's name now this time i'm gonna adding some border radius and also i'll be using here some shadow so here i'm mentioning border radius something around 30 pixel and this time i'm gonna using some box shadow it will be having some property like zero pixel this is the horizontal color after this we have vertical color then we have a spreading then the color so here I am mentioning 10 pixel, 30 pixel and here I am putting RGBA value. RGBA stands for red, green, blue, alpha. Inside this just I am putting the value like something around this. If you want to put the prefix then you can also do that but I am just leaving it. I am just saving it and taking a look. Friends, you can see we are getting some shadow here but we are not getting as the Photoshop showing us for this menu. Don't worry, I'll be transforming it right now. Now, this time I'm just going at the index page here and we have to work for the menus like we have all projects, graphic, web design, marketing. Okay, so this time we have to work for this. So we need to know in which class uh, these menus are available. So you can see we are getting the main class called SPN and this SPN is containing, this is not a class actually, this is a tag. So this tag is containing the menus name. So what the code will be? Code will be SPN. No, first we have to target the main class called works. After this we have filtering this is the secondary class and this is the main class so three class not class actually this is the span this is the tag actually okay so here works filtering a span this will be the code just coming back to the style.css and here i am mentioning the class called works inside this we have filtering filtering and also we have another tag called a span now I am doing work everything. Now I am doing everything just next to you. First I am putting some margin to this like 0, 0.5 pixel. Friends I am putting the value on the basis of TRBL top right bottom left. After this margin I am putting padding something around 8 pixel from top to right and everything and rest will be 20 pixel. Let's have a look. Before going there I am just putting different things like font size something around 14 pixel and also I am using here font widths say 500 and if you want to put the border radius then you can put that and if you want to put the border radius then you can put that simply put a border radius and it will be having some pixel value like 30 pixel and also i'm putting cursor to this like pointer and then i am putting font weight i have already used font weight bold now i'm just using font weight bold yes friends you can see we are transforming it beautifully and it is looking something cool isn't it now we will make it activated so first we will be activated so how we will do it we have already class called active for the first menu let me show you first then we will move further friends you can see we have an active class here so this active class i am just targeting there with the works filtering span here i am deleting this font weight we don't need here we put two times just delete that here I am mentioning works, filtering and then I am putting active class. It will be having background color like and also I am putting some color to this like white. Now let's have a look. Yep, friends you can see we are getting nicely here and it is looking something cool isn't it? It is looking really nice. Now this time you can see we are not getting any spacing from the top and it is just touching one another. For that we'll use br tag one more time and then we'll go for this one. Coming back to the index space and here I am adding br or two more times, br two more times. Yes you can see we are getting nice gapping, it's cool. Now this time I am gonna working for the image. So we have image, let me find the image where it is existing. Here we have the image class called item image and this item image is containing all the images. So just coming to the style.css and here I am putting the main class called works and inside this we have item image. First I am putting position something around relative and then the margin top something around 30 pixel. So we will get some margin from the top. See here, we are getting nice margin from the top. Now we will work for the hover state. So what we will do, I will just call the main class and inside this we have item image. 
this item image will contain the hover state so whenever we'll put our mouse pointer over the class or over the image then we'll get nice transitions and hover effect so we added here hover now i'm targeting another class called item image overlay because we have to put the overlay on the image so here i am putting item image overlay here i am mentioning visibility visible and then i am putting opacity something around one let's have a look that what we are getting you can see item hover is not gonna work because we didn't use any overlay on this so this time i'm gonna working for that I am calling the main class called works and inside this we have another class called item and this will be containing item image overlay. This is the class which is existing on the index page. Let me find that first then we will do the work. So you can see item image overlay. This is the class which is existing here which I am calling there. So works item image overlay. First I am putting some position to this like absolute and also I am putting some top value like 10 pixel left will be 10 pixel obviously and now i am putting right 10 pixel and bottom will be 10 pixel obviously now this time i am adding some padding like 30 pixel all around and then i am putting background in background and it will be having rgb value in the overlay so here i am mentioning 255 255 this is why I am putting two values or three values or four values? This is for the red, this is for the green, and this is for now I am putting for the blue and then the alpha. Alpha will contain some point value. Okay, so here I am mentioning 255 for the blue, and last one will be having the point value in the minus like 0.95. And also I am putting some opacity, something around zero. So we'll get some cool opacity over there. Now I am adding some visibility like hidden and transition. I am putting transition. Why I am putting transition? Because we need some smooth hover effect. So here I am putting transition something around all 0.5 second. We have a lot more properties for this transition like we have is in, is out, fade in, fade out. So you can put that if you want. Now let's have a look. Yeah, friends, you can see finally we did it. We are getting nice hover on the image and it is looking kind of cool, isn't it? It's really nice. Now I'm just refreshing it. So finally we are getting nice effect right here and it is looking something cool, isn't it? I think we got some great gapping here. So we have to remove that gapping and also we need to add some gapping here. For adding the gapping, what we will do? Just we'll use BR tag. So let's do that. Friends, we have used here margin top called 30 pixel. Just decreasing 20 or 10 pixel less, then it will become 20. And here I am coming on the index page right now and going at the top. There I am adding beard one more time or two more times. It's up to you. Let's have a look. Yes, now we removed the extra spacing and it is looking kind of cool. If requirement is then we can also put some gapping here. So we'll talk about it later on. First we will have to work for this one. So this time it is working really cool. But here we are not getting the icon at the very bottom as we are getting in the Photoshop document. Okay. So this time I'm going to working for this icon. So first we need to know in which class this icon is available. Okay. For knowing that I'm just coming back to the style.css not there on the index page. We'll take a look. I am scrolling the page and finding the main class for the icon. So we can see, so you can see we have a icon here and this is the main class. So this time I am targeting the icon to shift the icon at the very bottom. So we have main class called works. Inside this we have item, image, overlay and this overlay class will contain the another class called icon. Now what we will do, we will just put here position something around absolute, right will be 30 pixel, bottom will be 30 pixel and also I am putting width like 40 pixel, height like 40 pixel and also I am putting some border radius to this like 50%, 50% and then I am putting border like 1 pixel its thickness will be and then the solid and then the color like 1A 2373 2373 this is kind of hex color code you can check it out right now 
Yes, it's cool. Now I'm aligning the things at the very center. So here I'm mentioning text align center. And also I'm adding some font size to this like 20 pixel or 30 pixel. It's up to you how much you want to get right there. Okay. And if you want to add the color, then you can also do that like white or whatever you can, you can. Yes, see, we are getting, but icon is not visible. Don't worry, I am just gonna making that visible. You know why it is not visible? Because the background is white and the icon color is white as well. That's why we are not getting the visibility. Don't worry. I am just copying this part from here by pressing Ctrl C and pasting it away down right here, Ctrl V. Now let's have a look. Yep. Friends, you can see we are getting here, but it is not coming at the very center, okay? So we'll align it at the very center right now. I have used your line height. Perhaps we have to use line height right now. Friends, line height will as equal as the height is. So here I am putting line height something around 40 pixel. And then showing you. Yes, you can see it is centralized beautifully. So friends, finally we created this beautiful hover effect on the image. Now this time I am going to work for this one. It is not looking kind of cool, okay? So for this what we need to know? We need to know in which class there's text are available. So as we know we have a class called, not class actually, we have a tag called P. P tag is containing this one and heading tag is containing this one. So this time I am targeting the P tag. I am calling the main class then the item image overlay and then I am putting P tag. P is containing the para text. Here it will be color and this is the color actually and then I am putting font weight something around 400 and then the font size nearly 13 pixel. And also I am going to work for the heading tag like H6. So what we will do, I will just duplicate it one more time by pressing Ctrl D. Only the thing what we will do here is we will change the tag. I am mentioning H6 and it will be having some font weight like 400 and font size something around 16 pixel. And then I am using here some margin top value. Or I am removing this one color we do not need here so I am mentioning here margin top. Margin top something around 5 pixel. Yes. Friends, finally we did it. See here. It is looking kind of cool, isn't it? It's looking really nice. Now if you want to change its font size or the color, then you can do that. It's up to you. Okay. Now also we'll remove these extra white spaces which we are getting in between the section. Okay. So it is very easy. Just I'm going to the bracket and there we'll do the things. Friends, coming back to the index page and you can see P tag is containing this one and H6 is containing this one. So this time I'm increasing the font size for the P. So here we have a style.css. Here I have put 13, just putting 16 and this will be 13 obviously. And also I'm changing its font weight like bold. I'm deleting this. If I show in the browser, then we'll get definitely a different look. See, it's looking kind of cool, isn't it? It's looking really nice. Okay, now this time we need to remove this extra white spaces from the image. So we'll do it right now. I am going at the index page, there we'll design the things. Going at the very top and there I am adding some extra styling. Here I am mentioning, I am not mentioning actually anything, just coming down and you can see we have gallery here. I am going at the very beginning and you can see we have the row. Inside the row I am creating a custom class called no gutters. This no gutters will contain some margin in the negative so we will not get any gapping in between the images. Okay, so let's do here on the style.css calling the class called row no gutters. Row no gutters. And also I am putting class and then the universal selector like a star call minus. What the advantage of this? Friends, I have created this class called no gutters and I have called it right there in the row. And this row is containing the class called no gutters. So both are coming together. After this we have class. So this is the class with universal selector. And this column is exist in almost all the row. Which is containing the no gutters. So by putting this call minus it will be targeted whole gallery image. So just coming inside this and putting the value like padding something around 0. Margin top something around minus 30 pixel. And then minus 30 not 3 actually minus 30. 
and also I'm putting margin right margin right something around I am putting the value in the point like 0.2 pixel let's have a look I think we need to save it okay so I'm just gonna saving it okay it will be equal now let's have a look yep friends you can see it is working really cool now it is working really fine i didn't save that so it is not working okay now this time it is working but you can see this image is just overlapping at the very top so what we need to do here we can just remove the extra margin okay so coming back to the bracket going to the style css and here i am just what we'll do I have put margin top I am just removing the margin top from here like something around I am decreasing it like 27 and let's have a look yeah this time it is looking so cool but still we are not getting as we want so again I am coming back to this one and decreasing its point something around 25 pixel then it will look like something cool still you can see in the corner we are not getting as we wanted actually 23 you can keep on changing the value to get the perfect result yeah this time it is working really cool see here and also the image is opening when i'm clicking over the image we are getting the image opening same time and it is something cool isn't it now this time i'm gonna working for this menu it is not gonna work you see i'm clicking over it and it is not getting filtered so don't worry this time we will be working for this one hi welcome back friends in the previous class we have created this beautiful styling over this gallery now in this class i am gonna working for this menus you can see it is not clickable so whenever i am clicking over it we are not getting any filtered okay so this time we will be working for this filter effect so how we will do it we will do it just by using jquery plugin okay so why waiting let's do that come to google search isotopmetaphysi.co after going at this site you will be getting this page at the very first we have download isotop.packaged.min.js simply download it for downloading click over it and it will refer to you for downloading you can see it is the file actually so simply you can make a copy of it press ctrl a and ctrl c to select or before going anywhere simply press right mouse button and go for the save as you can see isotoppackers.min.js simply click over the save button and it will be saved as isotoppackers.min.js and simply paste this file in the folder where all the files are existing okay so we downloaded it now just coming back to the bracket and linking this file to the index page so here i am going at the very down there we will link it nicely so we have a script here just coming down to this and mentioning the script tag and this script will contain the source file like isotopes here we will have to put the file okay so we will do it right now so just i am linking the isotope okay so here it is so finally we will link isotopepackaged.min.js now it will not work you know why because we didn't add any magnific pop-up what is magnific pop-up it means whenever you will click over the image then that image will pop up very next to us with some navigation menus predefined if you use magnific plugin okay so we have to make the image clickable so whenever we will click over it then it will come very next to us okay so why waiting let's do that here we have magnific cdn file friends most of the time i am using magnific cdn file you know why because cdn file is much more faster than the downloaded file so here i am using cdn file simply search magnific cdn file and at the very top we have magnific popup.js click over it and it will start downloading it will start opening friends you can see we have bunch of files are available so first here we will get two files first we will get main.js file which is right here let me copy it by pressing ctrl c or copy come back to the document and paste at the very town like this a script giving a source and source will be this ctrl v this is the cdn file actually so we linked magnific cdn file now this time we need css file for the magnific so what we will do i'll just save it or oh, coming back to the 
browser there will make a copy of the file. Hey, I am just copying this part. Magnific dash popup dot min dot css. Let's copy it and put it at the very top where all the css files are existing. Okay. So here I am just putting that file, giving a link and then the reference like this. So we we'll link the file. Now if I show in the browser, then we'll get nothing changes. You know why? Because we did not call a script or the plugin. So this time I'm gonna working for the script. Coming to the main.js and here we'll do everything very next to you. Here we have the function just coming inside this and designing everything next to you. First I am putting dollar and inside this we have a class called gallery. So I am calling the class here called gallery. For calling the class I am putting dot. For the id we will put has. Then I am putting magnific popup. This is the plugin which we have used to make the image popping up very next to us. So here I am mentioning magnific. A spelling must be correct then it will work otherwise it will never gonna work. So we put magnific pop up. Now I am putting some basic changes like delegate. It will be pop up image. I have created this class there. If I show you, then we'll get definitely. Let me show you first pop image. Here on the index page, I'm just showing you that we have created a class called pop img. Okay. So let me find that. Then we'll go ahead. You can simply press Ctrl F and then you can take a look pop img. Friends, you can see we have already put a class called pop img. So this class I'm calling there in the magnific pop up. So we have put here pop image. Now I'm putting some type for this. Type for this something like image because this is the image. So I'm putting image and also I'm putting some gallery effect like this one enabled. So we'll get our image opening same time. Amazing, isn't it? Now let me show you how we are getting. Yep, friends, you can see it is a start working, but here we did a mistake. You can see it is coming likely this. We don't want here. Okay, so we will have to remove this part. We'll do it right there. But first we have to work for it. You can see every gallery is working really cool, isn't it? See here. Only the thing is. We are not getting any cross icon at the very top here. Okay, so we'll be doing it right there. Now this time I'm gonna working for the gallery effect. Okay, I'll be designing that later on. First, we have to work for this one. I'm removing the extra spaces which we are getting here. Now I'm working for the gallery effect. So here I'm just calling the gallery which is a class. So I'm putting a dot and then the gallery, this is the class. First I'm indenting it beautifully then we'll move further. So we put gallery and inside this we have isotop. Isotop. A spelling must be correct. Isotop. Item selector I'm putting here. Item selector. Like items. This is the class which is existing there. Now I am storing some variable like variable dollar gallery and this time again I am storing the same variable in the same gallery. Gallery. Friends it is a little bit tricky. Don't worry. I will be making it just confirm to you. I said top. Now I am making the button clickable so that all the button will start clickable. And whenever any user will click over the button, then that will get filtered. Okay. So for that, I'm using dollar sign and we have a class there called filtering. So that class I'm calling right here filtering and I'm using on function like on click. And also I'm adding the span. Function will be something like this. Inside this function will call some value. Okay, so here I'm missing var variable then the filter value and also I'm storing dollar sign with this. This is also the 
property of the javascript attribute will be something like data filter which i have already put there like data filter and then i am storing the gallery which is right here called dollar gallery isotop and then i am storing here Now let's have a look at what we are getting. Now this time I'm targeting the menu which is coming inside the spend tag. Like, let me show you. Friends, you can see we have the spend tag right here. I'm just showing you then we'll move further. You can see we have a span tag here. So this span I am calling there in the main.js. Here I am mentioning dollar then the class called filtering, filtering. Here I am putting filter value first. Filter, filter value, this. Now I am again targeting the span tag by mentioning the click function. Click function. Here I am adding here I am adding dollar then this property and it will be having the add class and it will be active obviously so whenever we will click over it then all the item will get activated and then the siblings for the parent child called siblings and here I am mentioning the remove class so it will remove the class after the mouse disappearing here it will also contain the active class so just I am putting the active and this time we'll take a look at how it's coming in the browser then we'll move further. So finally we created this beautiful section. See all the menus are working really cool. See here. It's really amazing isn't it. So friends in this class we have created this beautiful gallery effect and isotopes. I hope you enjoyed it. Friends, if you face any issue regarding this, then let me know. I'll be glad to help you. And also you can see this is not fixed. So now in the next class, I'm gonna fixing this issue. Okay, so stay tuned. See you in the next. Till then, keep practicing. Bye.
Hi, welcome back. Friends, in the previous class, we have created this beautiful gallery filter and it is working really fine. Let me show you that how it's working. You can see at the very top, we have menus. Four menus are available like all projects, graphic, web design, marketing. I am clicking over the graphics and you can see it is filtering beautifully. So friends, we created it nicely. Now, here we made a mistake. You can see when I am hovering over the image, we are getting the hover effect. But when I am clicking over this arrow icon, we are getting the image opening, but we have a mistake. You can see at the very top, we have this panel, which looks weird, isn't it? It's not looking cool, okay? So in this class, I am gonna fixing this issue like we will not get any background panel here we will get just cross icon to close it okay and you can see here all the navigation are working really fine see here only the thing is we have to fix this panel we will not get any panel here we will get only the cross icon okay for fixing it what we will do just hover over this panel press right mouse button and go for the inspect element here we'll take a look that we are we are getting this panel okay so here you can see at the very top we have picker click over it and click on the panel like this and you can see it is notifying us like this here we have color right text align and you can see if i uncheck it then it is saying that we are getting this color so by making some manipulation here we can easily hide this panel okay so why waiting let's do that simply i am making a copy of this part from here okay and then we will refer to the bracket where the code is happening okay right now i am on the style.css here just pasting the code which i have copied from the inspect element so you can see mfp image holder mfp close iframe holder mfp close what is mfp actually mfp means magnific pop-up okay so this is the plugin which i have used there in the index space okay so what we will do here we will just remove this color from here so it's been removed now here i am adding a background background like transparent so we'll not get any panel there now i am saving it and coming back to the bracket or browser to show you friends you can see we did it we are not getting any panel right here and it is looking cool now let me refresh it one more time to show you that is it actually working or not okay so we have menus and it is clickable beautifully now i am clicking over this image gallery and you can see we are not getting any panel right here and it is working really smooth even the cross icon is working really cool so friends finally we fixed the issue now in this class i'm gonna creating some different section so first we'll take a look that what photoshop allows us to create then we'll create same as the photoshop document so us okay so for that i'm just coming back to the photoshop document and there will come to know that which section we have to create actually friends previously we created this now in this class i'm gonna creating this beautiful testimonial section which is containing the background linear color and also it is containing the picture and the testimonial and also it is containing some indicators to navigate it left and right so in this class i'm gonna creating this beautiful testimonial section from various scratch for creating it i'll be using modern technologies like html5 css3 bootstrap and also we'll use jquery plugin called all carousel okay so enough talking now let's get started first i'm going to the index page there we'll discuss about the html markup for this section then we will refer for the styling then we'll link the jquery plugin okay so let's do i am coming back to the index page here and first we'll pass some comment if you want to pass the comment then pass if not then leave it it's up to you simply you have to find the section and start doing the work now i am removing the extra white space which we are getting here this is black space actually so the section is 
ending right here now just coming down to this and this time I am creating a simple markup this time I am not gonna creating any section simply I will be creating the class and then we'll call some bootstrap class which is already predefined like container row column okay so let's do that first i'm creating a class called demo this demo class will contain linear gradient as you have noticed in the photoshop document that we are getting a background color that is not a background color that is called linear gradient so that gradient this demo class will contain now i am calling the bootstrap class which is already predefined that is called container container is actually a data putter you can put any data in the container to make that data as responsive so here i am mentioning the container this container class will contain the row and also I'm putting two times line break or three times line break to get some line break from the top. Okay, you can also use margin top property of the CSS3 to get some line break. But here I am just putting the BR tag four more times. Okay, so we'll get some line break in between the section to the upper section. Now this time again I am calling the booster predefined class for the aligning at the vertically center called call MD offset. Let's do that. Call md offset friends this class offset is basically called just for aligning the things at the vertically center so here i am taking two offset with columns okay call md offset 2 and also i am taking another column of the 8 grid or the 8 row so here i am mentioning call md 8 friends we have multiple sizes are available in the bootstrap library like we have md sm lg xs md stands for medium lg stands for large xs stands for extra small and sm stands for small okay so here i have occupied eight column and then two for the aligning now just coming inside this and this time i'm creating the id for creating the id just mentioning the has and the id name you can put any id name whatever you prefer must so here i'm mentioning testimonial testimonial and then it is containing another name called slider and also i am putting here different class called all carousel okay so this time i am not gonna adding that simply i am just defining the thing when i am linking the jquery plugin that time i am calling the attribute or the class so just coming inside this id and this time i am creating another class called testimonial and this testimonial will contain another class for the pick and this pick will contain the image this time i am locating my Im image source so my image is available in the image folder called team i am just giving a source to it like image team 3.jpg if i show you in the browser then we will get definitely the image there let me show you first yep friends you can see we are getting the image right here and it is looking something cool isn't it now this time we need to put some description for this title designation and the social profile as well okay so it's very easy simply we'll come back to the bracket and we put the image right here just coming down to this testimonial pic and this time i am working for the description so here i am taking p tag p is paragraph tag and it is containing the class called description a spelling must be correct okay now this time what we will do i'll just put the dummy text okay so i'm putting a low ram 20 or 30 it's up to you how much you want actually okay or oh, i'm just leaving like this now let's have a look Yes, you can see we are getting the text right here. Now this time I'm gonna working for the title, then the designation, then the rating. Okay, we'll do it right now. After this closing P tag, I'm just taking the heading tag called H3 and this H3 will contain the class called testimonial. This is custom class. You can put any class name. Okay. So we are putting title as three testimonial title and this will contain the name like Williamson you can put any name whatever you like okay now this time I am gonna working for the designation like post so for that I am calling the tag for the HTML5 called a span and this span will contain the class called post post okay and post will contain some designation like web developer or designer whatever you are you can put okay now again i'm going for the rating 
You can see in the Photoshop document, we are getting the rating just below to the designation. Like we have web designer and two stars are available just down to this web designer. That means this is a rating. So this rating I am going to creating right here by using the font awesome icon. Okay, we'll do it now. Just for creating the rating, we will call the UL tag and this UL tag will contain the class which is not existing anywhere. I'll be designing it later on. Here I'm mentioning testimonial and then I'm putting the rating. Okay, this will contain the LI definitely whenever you will create the navigation bar, menus or any icon then you can call the UL and you will contain LI tag. So. LI will contain the colors like FA, FA, FA stands for font awesome and then the name icon, icon name like O, FA, FA dash star O, this is the icon name actually and this is the font awesome family, okay, so we put right here, now we need three icon for the first slider, so what we'll do, I'll just duplicate it two more times, this O will notify that your rating is done. But if I remove this O, then it, it will notify that you have, say for example, you have five rating available and you have got just three rating and two rating is off. So here, this FADS star will notify you that you have three rating, but you have done or you have got just two star, okay? Not three star. If you put O for this one as well, then you will get three star rated but we'll get two star rated, one star not. So here I removed the O. Now let's have a look at what we are getting. Yes, you can see we are getting one star rating right here. So it's looking something cool. Now this time we are gonna working for the second image and then the third if prefer. If not, then we'll leave for the second one only. Okay, just coming down to this and this eval tag will contain BR three more times because we need some padding to the slider that's why i'm putting the br tag this is temporary line break okay so we put br three more times just coming down to this this time i'm gonna work for the second slider so first i'm calling the class called testimonial and this class testimonial will contain everything as we put at the way top so why don't we make a copy of this so just going at the way top and you can see we have a created a class called testimonial and this testimonial is containing the peak description designation everything so this time i'm just making a copy of this peak right now from top to bottom so we have a id here image slider or testimonial slider inside this we are getting everything okay so first i'm putting the manually okay so here i'm mentioning the peak and this peak will contain the image source and just giving the image source like image team wonder jpz it's cool now just coming down to this and this time i'm creating a class called description as i put earlier at the top now it will also contain the description so just i'm making a copy of this part from here and going there and pasting inside the description as well now I'm gonna working for the title okay so just coming down to this p tag and taking the h3 and it will contain the class called testimonial slider or the title actually you can put any class name okay here I mentioning the title and it will contain the name like Christina and also I'm putting the designation like web designer web designer now i'm just coming down to this spain tag and this time i'm working for the rating okay as i did earlier so what we'll do i'll just go at the top and make a copy of this part from here to here like testimonial rating and just pasting there beautifully okay so let me copy it first then i'm coming down there i'm linking it just down to this spain tag and it is just very easy like one two three so we have added evil now if you want to get even more line break then put the br two more times three more times it is just practical thing you can do it right there now let's have a look at what we are getting friends finally we created two slider this is not a slider actually this is a testimonial but it will not look like testimonial this time because we didn't define any class or the style for this so this time i'm gonna working for its a styling okay so it's very easy simply i'm just going to the style.css there will do the things very next to you 
I am coming back to the style.css and first we'll take a look that which class is the main to put the linear gradient. You can see in the Photoshop document, we are getting linear gradient just back to this slider. Okay, all the testimonial. So how we'll create it? We'll create it by finding the main class. Okay, so let me find that. Here on the index page, we have to find the main class, then we'll refer to the style of CSS. There we can define the things. You can see we have a class called demo. This is the main class and you might have remembered it that I have said to you that this class will be used just to put the background color as a linear gradient just behind to the testimonial. Okay, so this class I'm calling right there in the style.css. I am not passing any comment right now. You can do it easily. I have shown you multiple times that how you can pass the comments to notify you that which section is starting from which position. Okay, so here I'm mentioning the demo. This is the main class. This main class will contain the linear gradient as Photoshop showing us. Okay, so first I'm mentioning the linear gradient. This is the CSS3 property actually. Okay, so it will be having some color to the left. And also I am putting the hex color code like FB527A. Okay. You can see it is looking cool. Now this time again I am putting different color like hex FFC371. C371. If you click on the hex color code then it will notify you that this will look like something this. You can see it is notifying us that this is the gradient color. Okay. And also I am using second color, third color like fb same color I'm using right now. I'm copying it and just pasting here by pressing Ctrl V. And if I show in the browser, then we'll get definitely there. Yep. Friends, you can see we got here nicely. We made a mistake there like we didn't add the colon and we added the comma there. That's why we are not getting the background color. But it is just looking awesome, isn't it? Now you can see this section is coming by touching the upper part and it is not looking so cool. So this time what I'm gonna doing, I'm just putting some margin top to this, okay? So we'll get some margin here. I am putting margin top something around 150 pixel. Yes, you can see we got nice margin here and it is looking something cool, isn't it? Now we have to align all the elements at the vertically center here. So how we'll do? We'll find the main class which is containing the image, title, uh, description, title, designation and the ratings. So let's find that. Coming back to the index page and there we'll take a look, okay? So you can see we have a main class called testimonial. This testimonial class is containing the pick like this description title rating everything so i'm just calling there by pressing ctrl c by making a copy and just coming to the style.css adding dot and this inside this i am putting text align center obviously margin will be something around 50 pixel 10 pixel friends we have discussed about this like how the margin in the padding work 0 10 percent 1 percent okay and then I'm putting background color like white. Okay, you can see it is transforming beautifully. We have aligned it at the very center and it is looking so cool, isn't it? Okay, now you can see the image is coming at a very big. So we have to just make it like tiny. So how we'll do? We'll find its class then we'll put some width and height. So on the index page, we have a class called pick. So that pick class I'm calling inside the testimonial because this testimonial is the main class and it is containing the pick class. Let's have a look. Here you can see we have a class testimonial and inside this we have pick. So what the code will be? Code will be dot testimonial dot pick. Then this image will be targeted. Coming to the styled CSS and this time again calling the class called testimonial inside this we have a pick class and it will be having width, height, border radius, everything. So here I am putting width something around 100 pixel. Height will be as equal as the width is. This time I am gonna adding some border radius. Will be something around 50% of the pixel. It's up to you. And then I am putting border to this like 5 pixel. Its thickness will be solid. 5 pixel will be thickness and style will be solid or the weight will be solid. And then the color like this 255, 255, 255, and the 0.3. Friends, why I am putting these four values? This one value is for the red, 
this green is containing this and this is for the alpha okay i hope you got it now i'm putting some display like inline block so we'll get all the images in one line not falling down just one behind okay display inline block i am also putting some margin top like minus 50 pixels so it will push just at the top and if you get overflow then put hidden so we'll not get any overflow this time i'm gonna adding box shadow so box shadow will contain some value like 0 pixel 2 pixel 6 pixel and then rgb friends this is for the horizontal side or this is for the vertical this is for the spreading and this is for the color we have told you a lot more time 